Hey guys, what is up and welcome to today's vlog. Um, it is currently 4.20 in the morning and I'm already on the road heading to Tochigi to hang out with Joshua. Um, we're gonna check out where his RX-7's at. He's done a few more film, like final touches and stuff and getting that looking mint. Um, and then we're just gonna hang out and do a whole bunch of awesome stuff that I can't wait to show you. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the vlog and uh, I'm gonna get back to focusing on driving and then once I'm on the highway, I'm gonna get to one of those parking PAs as soon as I can because I am starving and I definitely am gonna need a coffee. Alright guys, so I've just gotten to Joshua's place and uh, we were talking for a little bit but what's really funny is there was a little bit of a miscommunication due to a language barrier issue, um, which is totally kind of normal. Uh, Joshua thought we were talking about Thursday but we were saying Tuesday and obviously I'm here Tuesday um, but he was thinking Thursday so his schedule's a little bit messed up and it's a bit different today so we can't go to N style today. His RX-7, uh, he wants to have that finished and ready to then take and show them as well. So we're gonna do that probably next week now. Um, but today we've still got some awesome content planned that we can still do, which is going to all the really cool junkyards around the area and show you guys some of the old cars that are sitting there and some of the sad things that are happening to them because they're just sitting there rusting away, um, which is really interesting. Plus there's a couple of workshops and car yards and other things like that we'll look at. Um, but otherwise I'm gonna give you guys a quick walk around what the RX-7 looks like right now. Uh, maybe the, um, the 350Z as well because obviously it's light now and previous video it was nighttime when I got the beauty shots. Um, so we'll do a quick walk around of that and then uh, we'll jump for the car and we'll head out. Okay, so this is where the 350Z sits at currently. Um, I'm pretty sure Joshua is pretty much complete with the body kit and how it's finished and looking. Uh, the only thing that he really needs to work on now is um, he uh, accidentally ordered the wrong offset from work for the VS uh, wheels and uh, he's had to send them back and get the right one sent out. That's why the rear has them on but the front doesn't. Um, and it's got these kind of like generic ones that um, I'm not sure what brand these are, but um, yeah, he doesn't like those wheels. So obviously he's waiting for the real ones to come, but yeah, car looks flipping awesome. It's a shame it's a little bit dirty right now because the weather's so bad out here. It's been raining on and off. It's hard to keep the cars clean, but that rear end is beautiful. And then obviously the RX-7 looks amazing with its new work VS wheels as well. I'm pretty sure the model of the wheels, it's either VS SS's or VS XX. I don't know, someone who knows their wheels really, really well, tell me what wheels these are, because um, there's so many different wheel models out there. I get confused all the time with the wheel names, especially the work ones. Um, these look awesome. Once again, I think these are does it say how wide they are? I'd have to look on the inside of the wheel, but I think these are 13J or at least 12J wide. They're wide as hell. And he's got kind of the rear back together now, which is awesome to see. He's got his wing on that he's gonna paint and he's still working on the rear diffusers. But the car looks so much better now that it's got the, uh, the work wheels on there and the uh, side steps. Looks awesome. Yeah, uh, I think that's about it. What we're gonna do is, uh, you ready, Josh? We we're looking at his uh, Z32 just before as well, and uh, we were just having a bit of a laugh about how there's absolutely no room in this engine bay. Like, you can't get your hand down anywhere. So it's a bit of a disaster to work on, but still, it's a nice car. He's gonna take this out and come drifting with me on the 28th at Nico Circuit, so it'll be fun. All right, let's go. All right guys, so I am at a junkyard, wrecking yard here in Japan. They are quite small normally because they uh, they go through everything really quick. They're really good at getting uh, through their cars and whatnot. And if we just have a quick look at some of the engines and things like that that are around here. There's a VVTi, 2JZ in there. Actually, there's, there's a couple in there. And there's a few, few RBs up the back there too. 
Um, so there's definitely a fair few nice engines there. But let's head over here to where some of these cars are that have been sitting here. Now I've been here before, but never with uh, like the camera for you guys and stuff like that to be able to film it. There's quite a few um, like old 350Z motors, uh, not 350Z, the 300ZX, the Z32s. There's an old Neo 6 engine here as well. And they're just all out here in the weather. So th that's the DE, I think. That's not the turbo version. Yeah, 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 straight non-turbo. That's probably why they're sitting there because they're not super popular. Anyways, let's... This is really sad. RX-7 FD here. And then there's the RX-7 FC, I believe. And a little cappuccino or a, a Beat. Is it a Honda Beat? Honda Beat? Yeah, that's a Honda Beat, sorry. Uh, that's a cappuccino, my bad. Can't believe I mixed those up. Oh man, this is really sad. It's another old, If is that an FC or a FB RX-7? But what's even sadder is that there's a DR30 just sitting here with a car sitting on top of it. This is really devastating. Um, and then there's a Nissan SEMA Cedric, which has uh, some little Suzuki K car on top of it. Oh, wow. There's an old 240Z sitting on top of another, what appears to be a uh, another old Skyline. I don't think this is a D30 though. I think this is an R30 because it's the old Passage, Passage version. Oh man, that's so sad. The roof's completely busted because he sat this freaking car on top of it. Is this a DR30? An R30. I'm not sure with the old R chassis, especially the old R30s. It's manual too. Man, this is so sad. I'd love to be able to rescue one of these, especially this DR30. This thing is freaking cool. It sucks though, like the roof's completely shot. He's just sat this old RX-7 right on top of it, which has completely damaged the wheels. And the interior actually is uh, pretty decent. It hasn't been exposed to the weather. So this will have the FJ20 engine in it, the turbo FJ20. Man, that is so sad. Uh, what else is around in here? Heaps and heaps of K cars, old Volkswagen Beetle, nice crown. The BMW Z3 convertible, another little Miata. But yeah, pretty much unless there's something here worth of value to them that they want to keep and store here permanently, like because it's actually like gonna earn the money, they don't really keep it here. This is cool. This looks like an old L20, I think. Maybe an L26. I'd need to look at the block to tell. I'm, I'm not that good at seeing, knowing exactly what L-series motors are just by looking at the tops. Mm. Looks like the block markings on the other side, but it's definitely an L-series. What's this thing with the big auto bolted onto it? That looks like another VQ, VQ motor. Yeah, it is. So that probably came out of like a uh, um, earlier Skyline or Infinity or something like that. <laughs> there you go. Little rotary engine there. What is that? It's a uh, double rotary. Looks like maybe that's a 13B. Tell me if I'm wrong, guys. And uh, I don't know. I don't know my rotary engines, so. <laughs> but it's so small, hey. Like, this is a gearbox bell housing, and the engine's pretty much almost the same diameter of that. It's awesome. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I love going to junkyards here. You always find like such cool things. And if I had a whole bunch of money, I'd definitely buy a lot of stuff and do stuff with it. But just don't have the room here in Japan. You don't get like heaps of space at your house for projects and things like that, which really sucks. There's a normal drive transmission down there, which is bolted to the back of an RB with a turbo. So that's a, uh, that, it's a single turbo, so that must have came out of a one of the old um, GTS4s. It's an RB25, 
with an all-wheel drive gearbox on it. So yeah, that's kind of cool. See, this is this is what I'm talking about, and this is what sucks. This is an old VG30 twin turbo, and the pipe here, the intake pipe to the turbo, is completely full of water, and it's all green in there. So I, I really don't know why they just keep these out in the weather like this to uh, deteriorate like that, because that motor would make someone very happy somewhere in the world. But anyways, it is what it is. This is a pretty cool junkyard. There's a few half cuts and stuff like that around up the back here too that I'm not entirely sure what they're using them for. A lot of European stuff too. They're really popular cars in Japan, all the European stuff. <laughs> it's always funny seeing a, a, like a front cut. Look at this little mini. Yeah, Mercedes front cut there as well. All right, well, I think I'm gonna get out of these guys' hair. I think they're a bit nervous that I'm here filming. I did check with them first before I did, obviously, but uh, they were still a little bit weary. Anyways, I'll leave them to it, and uh, I'm gonna jump back in the car and head off. So obviously going through a graveyard full of classic JDM cars that are dying and rotting away is super depressing. So how about I cheer you guys up with some awesome kind of like drifting cars in a workshop? We're here at, I think it's pronounced Koguchi Power, which is a workshop literally just down the road from the junkyard. And uh, they build some pretty cool drift cars here. Let's take a look. All right, so this is, I guess, the main workshop. And uh, they've got like FD kind of level uh, cages that they're building in these S chassis here. And there's a really nice uh, 180SX S chassis that they're building there, which looks awesome. But uh, this is their rear car park, which I guess is like all their cars that they've been using over the years. <laughs> the S14 looks like an old missile or something um, but this place looks awesome anyways let's take a quick look at this GTR is it a GTR why do they have hybrid synergy drive written on the back of this it's a 32 it's not a GTR so it's a GTST it's got an Apexi power FC in it it's really clean actually that's really nice for a GTST roll cage uh, 180 Oh, Gucci Power. I'm going to do some research on these guys. They uh, got some nice cars here. Uh, some LMGT fours, I think they are. The Nismo, nice S14. Um, where is it? Is it an S14? It's an S15 with an S14 Kyoki front, I think. No, I'm totally blind. It is an S14. <laughs> uh, S15s here though. And then uh, looks like an old 180SX. Chaser, well, actually, I think that's technically called a Mark II. They're not really chasers. Another old S chassis, another old S15 chassis. This is really cool. Good for parts and stuff like that, but uh, definitely the interior seen better days. So I guess they're keeping that as a spare shell if ever they want to turn it into a drift car. This thing looks awesome. I reckon this thing got some decent uh, drifting in. Nice Laurel. These are cool. Old Laurels. What's this thing? Chaser, I think. Yeah. This is actually the JZX100 and that's the Mark II, I guess. And then another old S chassis, S13. And then a couple little K cars around here too. It was really cool. Definitely been into drifting. These guys probably been doing a lot of stuff like at uh, tracks like Ebisu and things like that, I guess. They really uh, kind of look a bit like missiles here and then they've got their pro cars, so yeah. And obviously an Infinity. Cool cars, hey. Anyways, it's actually starting to rain, so I'm gonna probably jump back in the car and head, but just wanna take another quick look at this uh, 180SX. He's still running an SR in it. It's caged. Uh, looks like he doesn't have a gearbox in it right now. Looks like a Power FC as well. This is a nice little drift car. And some cool cars. <laughs> there you go, there's an old S13 SR20 engine sitting there. Well, short. No, not a short block. That's a long block because it's got the head on it. There's a gearbox there from an RV25, it looks like. Um, but it's all rusted out. So I'd say all this stuff is just old stuff that they've binned. And all their old wheels and stuff like that for drifting. <laughs> there's an old transmission too. One of its gears is shredded up, so yeah. It's kind of cool to see all this type of stuff out here. There's a VG. That's a VQ motor there too. That probably came out of the... Uh, that makes me wonder if they've got a different engine than sitting in that Infinity. Anyways, I'm going to jump back in the car. 
Oh, they got a 180SX on the back of the tow truck too. Gonna jump back in my car and uh, I'm gonna actually head to Tokyo, but I'll chat to you guys in the car before I leave. All right guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of new and I've never really filmed like a tour of a junkyard before. Uh, workshops, we've done that kind of thing before, so I'm glad we, we ended on something that was kind of cool and uh, like a happy, I guess. Um, the junkyard one was definitely depressing and I'm really sorry I didn't give you a heads up that you might need a box of tissues because there was definitely some sad things in there that would make someone cry. Um, but in hindsight, guys, if you like that type of content where I give you a tour of junkyards here to give you that kind of perspective of what it's like here in Japan, um, please tell me in the comment section if you want to see more of it and we'll make sure that happens. Next time I'm going to be out here in Tochigi, um, obviously we'll make sure that me and Joshua don't get our days mixed up so that um, you know we can both go and do all the things that we plan to do. There's so many more junkyards here, uh, car wreckers and workshops to give you guys tours of. So we will do that if you guys want to see more junkyard stuff. Um, but uh, as for N Style, we're going to do that next week. I'm going to meet him there actually because N Style is in Saitama, which is just on the other side of Tokyo, which is much closer to my house. So we're both going to meet there and we'll give you a tour there as well. Um, but yeah, otherwise, guys, once again, please tell me in the comment section what you thought. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video. Ciao, matane.